Some may consider Plankton to be the super wimp of the sea. After all, their entire existence comprises of mindless floating until becoming fish food to every living organism bigger than they are, which is literally all of them. They can't even swim for themselves. Plankton is entirely at the mercy of the sea currents and lack all ability to control their own movement. This means that these chilled out critters have no control when it comes to the ebb and flow of their own destiny. Be careful to underestimate the power of plankton, however, for while these puny floaters may appear as nothing more than defenseless dust motes of the deep blue, think again. These microscopic creatures supply the entire food chain of the open sea. What's more, while they are the essential component of marine life, plankton highly benefits the existence of land dwellers as well. Plankton plays a vital role on the planet's survival, as one of their main responsibilities is to produce 80% of the Earth's oxygen that we breathe. Puny? More like a powerhouse. When it comes to plankton, think of them as selfless humanitarians at sea, giving up their abilities and life for the sake of others. Their mantra? Ask not what your ocean can do for you, ask what you can do for your ocean. Here are 7 reasons why plankton is our friend. Number 7. Plankton are more diverse than you know. Plankton comprises of a diverse collection of sea organisms that dwell in larger bodies of marine and fresh water. Due to their carefree nature, their name literally translates from Greek to drifter or wanderer. While they are so tiny, one must bear in mind that just because you can't see them doesn't mean that they aren't there. The next time you investigate what appears to be an empty tide pool, know that there are hundreds of microscopic organisms inhibiting that water. While small, these sea drifters are so important that marine phytoplankton has been called single-celled microscopic algae upon which the survival of 99% of all life form on earth depends according to research from the Underground Health Reporter. And you know you've made it in the world when you receive a shout out from NASA for the administration deemed you as the most important plant in the world as they make up a quarter of all vegetation on Earth. That's a lot. For scientists determined that there is an infinite number of species due to the fact that there are over 200,000 types of phytoplankton alone. Within this vast class, there exist three main functioning groups, phytoplankton, zooplankton, and bacterioplankton. The first is made up of very tiny, usually always single-celled plants. Phytoplankton must live very close to the water surface since they steal the sun's energy to be used in their own process of food production. This method of photosynthesis earns plankton the title of producer, and thus they have been placed accordingly at the very base of the food chain. As plants create their own energy and release oxygen as a byproduct, all other marine life depends on them directly or indirectly for food or oxygen. Next is zooplankton or weak swimming animals such as protozoa, small crustaceans, jellyfish, and worms. Ocean sunfish and jellyfish fall into this category due to their feeble ability to swim and their nature to drift and flow with the commanding tide. Protozoa are single-celled organisms that like to colonize and can vary in size. They can be found in a variety of bodies of water such as the oceans, salt and freshwater lakes, rivers, and ponds. Crustaceans are invertebrates that live in both water and on land, and can range in proportions from barely there to 60 centimeters. Their tiny counterpart, krill, contains swarms of small organisms belonging to the crustacean species. 
These guys are cool in themselves, as despite being one of the ocean's most heavily hunted, they can live up to 10 years by avoiding predators amid murky depths up to 320 feet and in cold depths of the Antarctic. Krill can go up to 200 days without the consumption of food and in accordance with any extreme diet will shrink in size so that they survive. The life cycle of plankton is so generous that even plankton feeds off of plankton. For zooplankton, their primary sustenance stems from bacteria and phytoplankton which makes them the second link in the food chain. Lastly, there is bacterioplankton, referring to the bacteria element of plankton which shifts seamlessly among the sea's water column. That is, a conceptional column of water ranging from the surface all the way down to the bottom sediment of the ocean, lake, or river floor. These little motes of bacteria play a vital role in the nutrition cycles found here. Ultimately then, plankton acts as the sole supplier of the upper echelons of the food chain, even feeding humans and whales. Since most of the plankton in the ocean are plants, they are a go-to snack for most animals, and those who don't opt for these protein-packed, bite-sized morsels feast on creatures which do. Number 6. You are what you eat. Maybe we can't all be sunshine, yet plankton are such a superfood chock full of nutrients that munching on these little guys may very well be the equivalent to chowing down on golden rays of vitamin D. And as we've learned, plankton serves as the base for a very complex aquatic food web as essentially all other life in the ocean rely on phytoplankton to thrive and survive. So, how does the low men of the ocean's totem pole get their food source and vital nutrition? When it comes to the proverbial bottom of the food chain, when you're all the way down, way down, there's nowhere left to go but up, way up. Phytoplankton flourish on the water's surface where it can rope in the sun's effervescence to use as fuel for food and energy. Due to this, Phytoplankton are robust superfoods which boast an array of health benefits. And in a society where food trends are all the rage, health enthusiasts have flocked to this one. For plankton contain a ton of amino acids, healthy fats, antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that support the body, all the way down to the cellular level. In addition, Phytoplankton helps balance blood sugar. Due to plankton's high chromium content, consumption then meddles with blood sugar regulation to help insulin move glucose that can be burned as energy. This is especially important for those who suffer from diabetes or who are pre-diabetic. Number 5. They are a natural cleanser. Plankton, or plankters as they are called in their individual form, lead a seamless life of leisure simply by going with the flow. At least it would appear so, yet these amazing microorganisms are hard at work making our lives as easy as breathing. That's because phytoplankton use sunlight to convert carbon dioxide and water into energy at an astonishing rate. In turn, these efforts help regulate CO2 levels in the atmosphere. In a study by Earth Observatory, scientists determined that phytoplankton are responsible for a large amount of transfer of CO2 from our atmosphere to the ocean. Given the severe authority of carbon dioxide on the side effects of climate change, Phytoplankton play a vital role in maintaining the temperature of the planet and keeping it under wraps. The more CO2 chokes the atmosphere, the quicker plankton can convert these chemicals into clean air. Ultimately, the conversion of carbon into oxygen greatly decreases the threat of greenhouse gases. So, while these creatures may seem like simple, chilled out critters of the open sea, their existence plays a vital role in helping others. Number 4. They're no wimp. Speaking of plankton as a popular delicacy, 
Among the 200,000 species of phytoplankton alone, only one type is suitable for human consumption. This means that almost all of plankton possess characteristics that can cause heavy damage to our senses and internal organs. While phytoplankton has proved safe for animals, the following species produce harsh chemicals and poisons that can make a person very sick. Dinoflagellites, they're called, and they exhibit the capability to function as both plant and animal. This member of the phytoplankton family can move through water using the grooves placed along their body while also utilizing photosynthesis to produce food as plants do. Human digestion of the two species of dinoflagellates, gonulux and gymnodinium, lead to uncontrollable bowel movements, paralysis, dizziness, and long-term memory loss. This toxic duo is also the cause of hazardous red tide. In this case, size matters. One strain of marine phytoplankton Nanochloropsis gadatana, to be put simply, is so tiny in dimension, it is nine times smaller than a red blood cell. This makes the superfood so easily absorbed by the body that it swiftly provides the immune system with the necessary nutrients. Also, eating plankton is good for the environment. Sources say that incorporating plankton in our diets helps limit the practice of overfishing, a critical issue that has chefs engaging in awareness campaigns worldwide. One ocean-obsessed culinary guru from Spain is renowned for bringing plankton to the plate, and he makes it glow. A staple on his menu? Green sea garlic, which has become the world's most popular plankton-based recipe. Having originated in Andalusia, the dish consists of blending almonds, bread, and garlic with delicious seed oil. Thanks to the recent innovations in the kitchen regarding plankton, the bottom of the food chain organism is swiftly moving up in the culinary world. The single-celled snack doesn't solely provide sustenance to fish and whales, but now humans too. Number 3. They look cool. To one of nature's aquatic wonders, look no further than the art of bioluminescence. The vegetable species phytoplankton possesses the ability to emanate a nocturnal glow that tinges the sea and shades of electric blue. This natural emission is called bioluminescence and can transform the beach by magically igniting the dark waves with profound color. Through a group of chemicals called luciferins, Light is produced by a series of oxidating reactions that in turn make plankton glow. The skill set is prevalent in several forms of the plankton species, and chefs and mixologists have pounced on the pretty sight to use in their own creations. The effect has been exploited with chefs who garnish their plates as well as bartenders who create luminescent phytoplankton based cocktails. Number 2. They can be used for biofuel. In recent years, researchers have dedicated hours of study to determine the potential of various microalgae species such as plankton to be used in the production of biofuel. With the impending hazards of global warming a harsh reality in our world today, the environmental impacts of fossil fuels can no longer be denied. The solution? cleaner fuels that are renewable. According to recent findings at the Environmental and Energy Institute, a marine microalgae render two very important potentials. First, they possess the mechanisms for carbon sequestration. That is, they can remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Plankton does so naturally when they engage in photosynthesis to convert CO2 into sugars in the same way trees and land plants do so. Due to this powerful relationship with the sun's rays, plankton is a proven source of reliable, sustainable energy. Thanks to plankton, we can count on these two natural resources to give our planet the economic upgrade it deserves. Number 1. They wreak havoc in the tide. 
The two species of phytoplankton called dinoflagellites are known to engage in dramatic and life-threatening displays commonly known as red tide. In a quintessential bloodbath of sorts, the two reddish colored types of phytoplankton increase in population and paint the seashore red. This natural phenomenon is caused when massive upwellings of nutrients swell from the sea floor, often in the wake of massive storms. These blooms occur among large concentrations of plankton that release poisons known as brevotoxins and ichthytoxins into the ocean. The aftermath of such theatrics causes a depletion of oxygen in the water as the toxins spread out and harm all life in contact with the red tide. Serious effects are seen in the fatality of marine life and paralytic shellfish poisoning in humans. Even ingestion of the infected sea spray can infiltrate one's lungs and send a series of ailments. Long-term effects on humans include a linkage between the chemicals and cancer-causing agents in the body, as well as neurotoxic poisoning and respiratory failure. While plankton plays a role in harming marine and human life through the repercussions of red tide, the benefits by way of environment, the aquatic food chain, and overall nutrition far outweigh the occasional outbreak. Because glowing plankton looks so cool, we have a question for you. Would you rather sip on a glowing plankton cocktail or sit on a bioluminescence beach? Let us know in the comments section below, and thanks for watching.